a very special Nosach presentation. All right, all right, Boker Tov Cantors. So, so this is going to be a little bit awkward, you know. Typically, Cantor Abramson would have been having this conversation with you, but she just didn't feel like she could handle it. So, um, I'm here to talk with you. Spit it out, Rabbi Nevins, whatever you have to say. Go All right, on. Well, Go well, on. well, the good news is that your new stuff presentations this year have been pretty good. We've been hearing you know, renditions of the Shabbat new stuff, the weekday new stuff, festivals, and... Um... High holiday new stuff. Oh, yeah, that, that, right. <laughs> right, so... Okay, what's the story? Well, none of you have demonstrated any knowledge whatsoever of one of my all-time favorite cantors. You'd better not be talking about Richard Tucker. No, no, it's actually a female cantor. Rabbi Nevins, Taylor Swift is not a cantor. <laughs> oh, but she sure is real talented. Yeah, Taylor Swift is not Jewish music. Well, the cantor is going through some pretty big changes right now. That doesn't mean all we do now is sing Taylor Swift songs. But. What if you really, really, really like Taylor Swift songs? I mean, I have all of her albums. You can't make us sing Taylor Swift songs. <sighs> okay, well, this is where it might get a little more awkward. Last night, we had a six-hour strategic planning meeting where all we talked about was how to save conservative Judaism. And the first thing that everybody mentioned was Taylor Swift. <laughs> I spoke with Chancellor Eisen. And he says that his favorite album is Red. I spoke with Mark Gary, and he says he can't stop singing that song she wrote for the Hunger Games movie. I immediately sent a text message to Rabbi Steve Wernick over at United Synagogue, and he texted back the first verse of I Knew You Were Trouble. I reported my findings to Kendra Abramson, and she summoned an emergency meeting of the Cantorial School faculty, where we all watched Hannah Montana the movie just to listen to the Taylor Swift song in the background. Taylor Swift is on the mind of every single conservative Jewish leader, and we need you to solve the crisis of our people. You think we're going to save conservative Judaism by singing Taylor Swift songs? Yes. Or else what happens? Or else none of you can graduate. What? <laughs> this was a unanimous decision of the Cantoral School Advisory Board, the Cantoral School faculty, the seminary's board of trustees, and four teenagers who I met on the street yesterday. The, the decision is irreversible. Well, all right. I'm going to try and save the Jewish people. This is for you, Rabbi Nevins. You, with your words like knives and swords and weapons that you use against me, you have knocked me off my feet again, got me feeling like I'm nothing, you with your voice like nails on a chalkboard calling me out when I'm wounded, you picking on the weaker man well, you can take me down with just one single blow but you don't know what you don't know Swift like that? You've got to have more Kavana when you sing Taylor Swift. <laughs> Rabbi Nevins, let me give this a shot. Right. We were both young when I first saw you. I closed my eyes and the flashback starts. I'm standing there on a balcony in summer air. <laughs> I see the lights, see the party, the ball gowns. I see you make your way through the crowd and say hello. Little did I know that you were Romeo, you were throwing the pebbles. My daddy said, stay away from Juliet. And I was crying on a staircase, begging you, please don't go. And I said, Romeo, take me somewhere we can be alone. I'll be back.
Taylor Swift is Nusach. You have to become Taylor Swift. You all sound like Moshe Aisha, but not as Kaisha. If I hear one more bad attempt at Taylor Swift is Nusach, then in the morning you'll all be applying to the Hebrew College Cantoral School. Not Hebrew College. They're so open-minded and diverse and relaxed. <laughs> Dear Lord, somebody's got to stop this madness. Well, I can embody Taylor Swift. <laughs> mm. The burden of the Jewish people rests upon my shoulders, and I have seen too many tragedies happen <laughs> to my people. The following is a song that has stolen the hearts of many women and men, some of whom have even lived in states that were never part of the Confederacy. <laughs> Maestro. That notwithstanding, Rabbi Nevins, I'm going to ask you one final plea of mercy. Wait, wait a second. What are you doing here? I'm Chancellor Eisen. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm Chancellor Eisen's stunt double. <laughs> Chancellor Eisen's right over there. Well, I was his double ganger on Facebook a few weeks ago. It was actually less of an honor and mostly awkward for me. <laughs> so, you are Chancellor Eisen or you're not? I am Chancellor Eisen. Don't be fooled. Alright, well, what do you want, Chancellor Eisen? Well, as long as I'm Chancellor of JTS, it is my vision that the H.L. Miller Cantorial School be synonymous with the music of Taylor Swift. Alright. If you want to see how it's done, then let me show you how it's done. Oh, 
Chancellor Eisen, I knew that you were a great sociologist and an avid fan of Taylor Swift, but I didn't know you could sing like that. How did you do it? With great power comes great voice lessons. <laughs> well, you should call Chancellor Eisen. You just saved the Cantorial School. Yay! And that's not all. In honor of this historical event, I'm declaring that we are, for now and forever, renaming our Cantorial School the Taylor Swift School of Sacred Music. <laughs> to remind us that the whole point of a Cantorial School is to train singers to follow whatever trends are the flavor of the week. <laughs> and that's not all. Thanks to an anonymous donor, the Chancellor and I have agreed to rename the Rabbinical School the Bieber Yeshiva. <laughs> After Justin Bieber Shlita. Amen. 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 Amen.